In this session, we are going to discuss about uh, DCL commands and TCL commands. What is DCL commands? Data control language commands. Data control language commands. So what is this? What is this controlling? In your database, you have so many types of objects are there and different user accounts are there. User 1 has his own objects. User 2 has his own objects. So every user needs a security. Uh, I need the security to my own objects. Like me, some other user also needs a security for his own objects. He don't want to allow other users to touch his objects or he don't want to allow other users to access his objects data. So how he can control? Actually, we are not controlling that. That should be done by DBA. DCL commands executed by only DBA. Executed by only DBA. These two commands are related with database administrator. He can provide permission on any database object and he can get back permission on any database object. He is the super user for our database. If he want to provide any permission, then he can use the command grant. This is for assigning permission. Assigning permission. What are the permissions? Select, update, insert, delete, truncate, all these things are called as permissions. Creating objects. How he can cancel the permissions? Yeah. By using revoke command, he can cancel permissions on the database objects from the users. How he is performing all these things? Yeah. Let us see. Suppose if he wants to provide a permission on a table to so and so user, grant if he want to provide select permission and insert permission and update permission, but the user is not allowed to perform delete operation on the table. So on, on which database object he is providing the permission? On the database object scott.emp under ORCL database there is a user account scott under this there is a table emp on this table to the user Dinesh to Dinesh he is assigning the permissions what are the permissions Dinesh is getting Dinesh is getting select permission insert permission and update permission on the table EMP that was actually owned by Scott. So Dinesh is Dinesh can be able to see the data from the table EMP. He can enter new data on the table EMP. He can also update the data of EMP owned by Scott. But Dinesh cannot be able to perform delete operation on the table EMP owned by Scott. How the DBA can cancel these operations? Just the reverse of a grant then DBA can initiate the function the command like this like revoke select comma insert comma update on what is the table on which table he is getting the permissions scott.emp from the user I am taking the data here too you have to use, here from we need to use. From Dinesh, I am taking back the permissions on the table scott.emp. Right? So from the execution of remote command, the Dinesh is having no permissions on the table emp that was actually owned by Scott. Yeah, actually I am not concentrating more on these two commands since these commands are used by only DBA. In your personal systems, if you want to connect to the database as DBA, what are the DBA username and passwords generally? Generally, the people can maintain the username of DBA is system. Remember this. This is the universal username for DBA. And what is the password for this username is manager. And what is the hosting? 
ORCL or Oracle. You can check the host ring or database service name in your system. Whenever you are installing Oracle database, you need to specify the database name at the time of installing Oracle. So you can go to services window there, you have to check the database name in your system. So if you specify the complete spelling of Oracle, then here you need to specify Oracle. And remember one more point, whenever you are entering username and password, in case of 8i, 9i, 10g, Oracle 8i, Oracle 9i and Oracle 10g, username and password and service names are not case sensitive. But if you are working with 11g, username, password or case sensitive, remember that. At the time of creating username or user account, whatever the case sensitivity you have followed at the time of uh, creating user account in 11g, that is case sensitive. The same case you need to follow if you are trying to connect to the database with username and password. That's all about DCL commands and have a look into TCL commands. What is TCL? TCL stands for Transaction Control Language Commands. This is going for Transaction Control Language. What is meant by a transaction? What type of uh, commands we have to consider them as transactions? We can consider the transactions are nothing but DML commands. The DML, under DML, you have to consider insert, update, delete. These operations are considered as transactions on the table data. That suppose if you made or if you did insertions in the table, if you want to cancel them, I don't need that inserted data, then you can use rollback command. If you want to make the insertions permanent, okay, if you want to make the insertions permanent, then you have to use the command commit. But every day we are working with our Oracle. I am not using commit command, just simply I am making some insertions and updations. After some time, I am disconnecting from database. Whenever I am disconnecting from database, see here, so what is a commit command, rollback command? See, whenever I am working with Oracle, I am making some insertions into the tables. And similarly, I am making some updations and deletions. Every day I am working with the Oracle tables, but I am not executing commit or rollback. But what is happening if I am simply disconnecting from the database? What is happening is how the insertions and updations and deletions are going on permanently, automatically. How it is? Yeah. Whenever you are disconnecting from the database, what is happening is in before disconnecting you from the database, there is a command option is there auto commit. That auto commit is automatically enabled before disconnecting you from the database. So auto commit is executed in the sense whatever the insertions, updations, deletions you made or you did on the table that will be automatically committed means they made permanent. So if you delete something, fire records you are deleting. So tomorrow if you can see there are no fire records, how the delete operation is making permanent by using the command auto commit that should be executed by Oracle engine before disconnecting you from the database. So that is why whatever the operations you are making, you are not applying any, the, any of these things, but still the operations are dead as permanent. Now, what is the save point? It is a special case. Let us see, let me explain you with an example. Now, I am making one insert operation into a table. Insert into customer details. I am inserting one record. Let us say it is a transaction one. Next, I am going to write or I am going to define a save point. What is the save point? Save point. It acts like a checkpoint. Save point S1 is created here. Next, I am making delete operation on some other table. Delete from EMP, okay, this transaction is considered as 
transaction 2. Now, update EMD. This is considered as transaction 3. After this transaction, I am defining another save point. Save point S2 is defined. After the save point, I am making some deletions. Delete from product details. Okay. Transaction 4. Insert into company details. This is called as transaction 5. <coughs> In the current session, you did 5 transactions. After first transaction, you have defined one save point. After second and third transactions, you have defined another save point S2. And after save point S2, you did two more transactions, transaction 4 and transaction 5. Then, what is this? What is the use of save point? Without save point, what is happening? Let us say, there are no save points. There are no save points defined by you. In that case, at the end of all transactions, consider no save points. At the end of all transactions, you are executing rollback. What will happen? It cancels all transactions. It cancels deletion from product details, insertions into company details, updating EMP, deletions from EMP, inserting into customer details. All transactions will be cancelled. The actions will be reverted. Right. But I don't want to cancel all transactions. I want to cancel transaction 4 and transaction 5. Then how can I apply rollback? Anyway, rollback is used to cancel the transaction. But I don't need to cancel all transactions. Only I want to cancel last two transactions. Then I can specify the command like this. Rollback to S2. If you can add to S2 means up to the last save point S2. Up to the point S2. If you have any transactions, that transactions will be cancelled. Only it cancels these two transactions. Okay. Somebody wants to cancel the transactions uh, T2, T3, T4, T5. Then I need to apply this command. That command is roll back to roll back to S1. What is happening? What are the transactions it will cancels? It cancels. This rollback cancels the transactions T5, T4, T3, T2. Up to S1 only it will cancel. So before S1, if you have any transactions, they are safe. They cannot be cancelled. So save points are used to save some transactions under the save point name. So they can be very much helpful whenever you are applying rollback command. So rollback with a save point, what is happening? It will cancel up to that save point. Before the save point, whatever the transactions are there, they are very safe. Okay, this is what about commit rollback and save point. And yes, we will have a look on the screen. Here I have presented the descriptions about TCL commands and data control language commands. What are TCL? Just now we have seen on the board, rollback, commit, save point. Save point is very much helpful whenever you are rolling back the actions made by the user. Commit, it makes all transactions permanently. Once the transaction is permanent, you cannot delete it. Whereas rollback, it cancels the action did by the user. So uh, that is either insert or update or delete action. Save point, it saves some of the transactions, some of insertions or deletions or updations or combinations inside a save point. So the actions, whatever you have saved under save point, they are safe whenever you are rolling back. Why? Because I can apply the rollback like rollback to so and so save point. 
So before save point, if you have any actions, they are safe. And coming to the part of uh, grant and revoke, these two are called as data control language commands. And these two commands are used by only DBA and take the description from these two commands. I think this video is very uh, much helpful to you, those who are interested to learn about DCL and DCL commands. Thank you.